I'm Josh, this is my lab. Today I'll just be isolating some hydrogen gas. I've got these two stoppers. What I'm gonna be doing with those, drilling a couple of holes in each of them. So these are my little bottles here. In this bottle, uh, I'll have some hydrochloric acid. So what I'll do from then is I'll grab some zinc, which I got out of one of those heavy duty carbon batteries. It's pretty badly corroded, but hopefully it'll do the job for now. Um, I'll put the hydrochloric acid in there, zinc in there, have a tube running down here from here, connect them up with my rubber tubing um, and through the other end, which will then use some more rubber tubing to lead into a little tub of water. Now in that water, I'll have another one of these bottles. Alrighty, so now I'm going to just cut my glass rod to size and I'll bend the piece that needs bending. So what I've got here is just like a triangular file. <laughs> Voila! Snap it off. I'll just make another piece. Alrighty. And there we go. The issue with this is, obviously, I'm probably going to hurt myself. Hopefully I don't kill myself. Because that would suck. Oh, that looks really cool. I will do the next little bit and I'll show you when I'm ready. Blah. I managed to drill holes into my first stopper. Hilariously, I managed to cut my hand with one of the glass rods, so that's great. I finally got them to fit. I had to change the drill bit, stuff it with this, and then this came out and, you know, it's just amazing. It's just a great experience. I'll do the next one. Hopefully I don't slice my face off. Okay, so finally, after lots of rod breaking and pain, I managed to bore some holes into the stoppers and shove some glass tubes through. I found these water balloons and I had an idea of actually filling some of them with the hydrogen gas, making it explode, because that would be fun. I guess I'll try and assemble it now and um, I'll let you know when I finished assembling the gas generator. Okay, so I finally completed it after an addition of safety stuff. I have connected a little glass pipe with a stopper onto a water balloon, so hopefully there's enough pressure for that to work. Other than that, apparently I've just got to blow into there and it'll travel through and start the reaction. Hopefully I don't die. So, okay, let's go. There's, there's some kind of gas forming in there. I should put these on. Alright, that's the mistake. It's coming back out that way. Okay. There's got to be one mistake. I don't want to breathe in hydrogen gas. The zinc just totally just went into oblivion. Probably, yep, just totally ruined it. Let's light a match, see if something blows up. No, nothing. Dag nabbit. Well, good thing I made a backup plan. I didn't make a backup plan. That's to a certain height, which should be good. I'm not very professional at this, as you can probably tell. That's alright. Just having some fun. Looks good. It is looking good. I think I know what to do. I'll unstop at this one. Danger. Danger, danger, danger. Danger is not your friend. Remember that, children. Danger is not your friend. However, Safety is my last bits of zinc. Don't you love it when people just ramble? It's excellent. I think it's just a really excellent adventure. Beautiful. Stunning. Wow. My goal is to have fun. Uh, it'll be fine. Famous last words. So you probably can't see what's going on. That's all right, neither can I. I will start it off and hopefully air will go through. Alright, the process begins. What? Yep, I smell that. And I see the smoke. I'm hoping that's hydrogen. Ew. The hydrogen is invisible, so that might not be good. Whatever that gas was, I was breathing it in. That was not very successful. Let's try again. Hopefully, it, yep, it's still going. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, I see. How about we test if that's hydrogen? I doubt it, 
And what I'm going to do, to light a match, put it above this bottle first, which I don't think there's hydrogen in. See if it pops. See what happens. Whoa! That was very unsafe. It made me very happy. That's pretty freaking awesome. So, apparently that was hydrogen. I'll be doing this experiment again um, with more accuracy and safety and stuff like that. I'll actually, next time, I'll show you how you get zinc and carbon, uh, graphite and manganese dioxide from a battery. All right, ready for this? All right, that was pretty cool. That was a nice little one. My name is Josh. I'm a chemistry enthusiast. And I'll be cleaning this up. See you next time.